you guys want to get some awesome teams and guaranteed class players, make sure you go and check out footcoinking.com. Their link is down below. And if you use discount code B87, you get an extra 6% off your total order. Hi guys and welcome to the Wager Showdowns Bundesliga, the Road to Glory, where we aim to upgrade the players to the best Bundesliga team available. Obviously Team of the Year is around the corner and fingers crossed we are able to get some of them players in this series. Now if you do want any MSP PSN codes for uh, the footmas packs and stuff, make sure you do check out G2A.com, their link's down below. And if you do want to partake in any of these wages, which I will be doing probably Saturday and Sunday this week, make sure you do check the link down below and get signed up. If we can try and smash for 4,000 likes, that'd be awesome. And the first wager we're going to go for today is Leitner, a player who was worth a shit ton either last year or the year before um, but he was a very good player and fingers crossed we can get him in this series quite early on. So we are replaying one of the guys we played in the last episode who uh, we luckily beat in extra time, I think it was, yeah it was a golden goal if you didn't miss that episode guys it is on my channel and obviously I, I understand if you didn't watch it because it was Christmas Day yesterday and who wants to be watching YouTube videos on Christmas Day only sad people like myself and maybe I don't know, maybe you want to watch YouTube videos on your new iMac or something like that. So he takes the lead off uh, in 10 minutes dribbling straight on through a very very fast uh, striker which is Ings and I actually lied this wasn't the opponent we played in the last episode and beat um, he actually beat me I think so we uh, wanted to get an instant reply a nice ball to click there and he's able to uh, round the keeper probably could have tapped it in but didn't expect the keeper to just run straight past him and S Wine's there to score the stereotypical tramp goal which he used to in FIFA 13. Kirch is becoming well involved in this team a very solid play if you guys have used him let me know what you think of him in the comment section below got involved there and the ball does bounce to um to, to i think it was cadillac again getting on the score sheet making it 2-1 and uh, i thought sealing off the victory but i was very very incorrect jerome and zaha linking up a nice chip ball to the drum in the area where you need to put the ball. I don't know what it is on my controller settings. Every time I go to cross the ball in, it goes to the back post. Uh, not the back post, sorry, the back uh, back of the area, and it's really, really annoying. I think I need to change my settings. If you guys can do perfect crosses, let me know what settings you've got uh, in the comments, and I will take note and ho hopefully change it. In the dying minutes of the game, I think it was Cadillac. Was it Cadillac again, actually? Doing some nice close dribbling and getting on the score sheet. This guy is becoming very, very prolific striker for me and still in the victory. We probably should have scored more as you can see there 16 shots 11 on target to his 2 and 2 but we do walk away with the victory and walk away with the upgrade as well so we have got two rare silver players in the midfield now Leitner and Malanda uh, we have two non-rare silvers left which is Kirch and no Click and also our centre back and then we have the uh, obviously the, the, the waste of space you don't talk about which is the bronze right back so we're going to try and get rid of them now for a fresh start for next week and we're going to start off with going for Henloff who was one of the first downgrades in the team. The wage is valued at 8,000 coins. We are 50k in profit. Played 12 games, only lost three. Um, but then three losses have cost us heavily. So we come up against Gabby Bongoho and Hernandez. A very um, dangerous strike force. Emre can at Cam as well. Now Can I went to actually purchase him for a team. And he was valued at 40,000 coins. Now I don't think he's worth 40,000 coins is he? And I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below. Why he was worth 40,000 coins when I went to get him. So this game, um, we come up against uh, Dyer, very fast player, and he does manage to take the lead. Don't know how he got it through my goalkeeper, um, but he did, and uh, to take a 1-0 lead. Very, very annoying. But then we started to push everyone up as uh, the game started to lag a little bit. I don't know if it was me, I don't know if it was him. And uh, Leighton are getting involved as well. Very nice, uh, very good at dribbling he is. And that triple tap cross does manage to put um, our centre back. I don't know why he was up there. But he does manage to get the equalising goal just before half time. And then after half time, uh, Cadillac, uh, Cadillac sorry, and Leighton are messing around on the edge of the box. And this was a very, very um, na nice bit of goal. And Melander... Yet again, getting on the score sheet. This guy, uh, considering he's originally a CDM, does like to get forward and he's scoring a few goals for me as well. So... 2-1, and then look at that for a fucking goal. I think that's the best goal I've seen in this series so far. Maybe even, um, I don't know, I've, I've, I've never hit a volley like half volley like that, and that went sweet in the top corner. And in the dying minutes again, obviously, the triple tap cross, and s Wines in the right place at the right time to make it 3-2, and Seals walk away with another victory. A very, um, a very dodgy end to the game because he did score an absolute wonder goal. I'm not going to take that away from him, but we do need to get the upgrade. So we get the rare silver... 
Uh, sorry, the rare bonds into the team again, and now we're going to push to get Channel it in to basically get the team reset. And then in the next episode, we can hopefully go for some informed silvers, and uh, that's where I want your guys' input. What informed silver players do you want to see uh, from the Bundesliga in this series? Who's the likes of Inform Ronnie? That's one I know, um, but I've not really looked towards the Bundesliga this year um, as looking for silvers. Anyway, so. The next game, my old Gatto decided to do that free again because I updated the wrong software and it did go a little bit glitchy. But I did realise this time and uh, the, the shots you are seeing in the background now are actually highlights of the first three goals. So we rounded the keeper there, making it 2-0 Cadillac on the score sheet again. But the third goal was probably the best and it was a chipped through ball to our player and a nice skill shot um, from base that does put it into the back of the net making it 3-0 and then we actually got the normal recording back so in the 76 minute we do resume and uh, it's me pushing forward as always this guy uh, spent all of the time in his own half he wasn't tra tracking down my players and as you can see Melanda laying the ball off to Cadillac who does get on the score sheet again now Cadillac's only worth a couple of K guys. If you do rock Bundesliga teams, silver teams, I recommend putting him at the head of your attack. He is doing wonders for me. And um, I think he's actually a good replacement for Malapa. Malapa brings the strength and the pace, but Cadillac brings the dribbling and the finishing. And he is just going off on this team. So we do win 5-0. We do seal the wager match. And apologies for the style of the goals there. Um, hopefully it will be sorted for next time. Uh, ne next next week hopefully I've got the correct software now so it shouldn't do it again uh, and we do manage to go to a silver right back which is the uh, uh, aim of this episode so we are back to normal really hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have smash that like button subscribe if you're not subscribed try and smash it over 4,000 likes and we'll be back on Monday with another episode of the Road to Glory Wager Showdowns uh, Bundesliga and if you have missed the Road to Glory Wager Showdowns BPL there is a link down below to a complete playlist where you can go and watch it from start to finish until next time guys see you all later have a very very nice day